two. What's going on, everybody? Shout out to him. Shout out to everybody over there at the YBE TV. You know, productions, the family. Shout out to all my trucking family, people in the trucking community. What's going on today, people? This is Toon, YBE TV. I want to first off give a shout out to my man from HT Logistics. Make sure you follow him. It's HT Space Logistics. He a dope ass truck driving dude, man. He be handling his business, man. Big Chris, what up, bro? How you feeling, man? But today's topic, we're going to talk about the benefits and the downfalls a truck driver. It is very beneficial. You know, um, it depends. It don't. De it don't matter whether you company or if you are owner operator. It is very beneficial because you could get some of the best benefits packages, some of the best 401k packages, and you can make a lot of money. With my side being more towards the owner operator, but I can throw a little bit of company in there. Let's just get right to it. I'll talk about the benefits. The benefits, I would say, as far as like a company driver. Is that you get to make a little bit of money, you, uh, more money. You get a, you know, have a, a creative lifestyle that maybe you didn't have before. A lot of you guys come from warehouse jobs, fast food jobs, just garbage jobs that paid you minimum wage and you could barely survive on. You know, you could barely afford a car on some of these jobs. You know, making three, four hundred dollars a week, maybe five tops. You know, it is very beneficial because you could get some of the best benefits packages, some of the best 401k packages, and you can make a lot of money. And that's as a company driver. But as an owner operator, you have the opportunity to expand your business as much as your heart desires. You can start off by leasing the truck, then end up buying that truck, and then go from buying that truck to second seat somebody, have him run that truck, go get you another one, and just keep on doing it until you work yourself out the trucks. Now you got five trucks on the road. Um, benefits also as a company driver is that you get to travel. A lot of you guys, like myself, when I first started, I ain't never been nowhere except maybe the South because we got family in the South. I never been to the East Coast. I never been to the West Coast. I didn't even know what mountains were. You know what I'm saying? I just, you read about them, you hear about them, but you, you know, you don't know they exist until you're physically in them. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as owner operator, benefits of being, you know, a good owner operator or a owner operator, obviously people would agree financially, but let me tell you the real reason. The real reason is time because I can tell someone when I'm gonna come back out. You guys have to ask. As company drivers, you have to request. You gotta put in like a week notice or two week notice. Hey, I need this time off on this date. And you know, they have to run it by the supervisor. They gotta make sure they can have somebody covering you and whatever, especially if you're on like a dedicated run or something. As an operator, we don't have that conversation. I call them, I say, hey man, I'm gonna run this week, but I need to be home you know what I'm saying? Next week, and I'll let you know when I get back out. That's the end of the conversation. All right. All right, then, Big Chris, you know, you let us know then. That's it. That's the end of the conversation. You know, that's one big benefit of being an owner-operator that I enjoy. You make a lot of connections in trucking because you around trucks all the time, and people that's doing the same thing, y'all go to the same places. So you make lifetime friends, man. One of the biggest things in America that I say, man, and I ain't trying to get too political, is that... When you're around people making money, when you're around a group of people making money and they able to feed their family and they happy, man, generally you around a lot of good people for the most part. So that's one of the perks. That is one of the huge perks. Meeting great people, making good money, not one of the downfalls. A lot of the times, man, you gotta understand that in this industry, by having so much money in this industry, it breeds greed. I know that's kind of a tongue twister, but I'm going to slow it down. It breeds a certain level and amount of greed. So, you know, like, we all, a lot of us hate our dispatchers because they always push and push and push and do this illegally. Do this. Get the load here. We don't care if it's safe it because it's somebody above them most of the time that's pushing them to do those types of things. I'll start with company again. The downfall of a company driver is his attitude, his or her attitude. If you're going to argue with your driver manager all the time, if you're going to get out here and you're going to let traffic bother you, you're going to let people dictate the way you're going to operate, the way you're going to drive, then that's going to be your downfall. You're going to fail. You're going to fail bad too. Um, you're not going to get the experience you need. You're not going to build the resume you need to get a better job for those who don't want to be on operator. They just want a good job or even become local driver. You know, you're not going to get the experience you need if you get out here and you let everything bother you. That is your downfall, letting things get to you. 
whether it be a driver manager, traffic, family, stressing about you're always gone, you can't let that you can't let that get to you. People have to be on board, and you have to be on board with your driver manager. You have to understand that you're paying your dues in the beginning. That's all. If you get look, if you get a nice paycheck and you get home every weekend, you're winning. As a company driver, you're winning. Don't let nobody ever tell you or steer you differently. If you get a nice paycheck and you get home every weekend or every other weekend, but you're getting good money, just roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't argue with your uh, driver manager. Don't don't get upset with uh, you know the stuff your surroundings. Just get your experience and then get on to a better life. Take this video, guys. Understand that we're just trying to help you guys. We're trying to. I'm trying to help you guys avoid the pitfalls that I went through. And remember, them fundamentals are key. If you want to make it in this, if you want to make it as an owner operator, you want to be successful. I'm talking about. We're not talking about you want to survive. Because remember what I said before in my previous videos. If you're not winning, you're not. Or I'm sorry. If you're not winning, you're losing because nobody wants to break even. It's not about breaking even. If we're going, if we want to be, this, if we want to do this to be breaking even, then we might as well stay company drivers. Period. With that being said, though, um, I want you guys to really grasp those fundamentals because that's the key to your success. Just like we talk about the downfalls and the benefits, well, let's talk about the keys as well. The keys to failure is to ignore fundamentals and do what you want to do. The keys to success is to take heed of those fundamentals, get a strong grip on those fundamentals, and apply them. Let me say that again with a capital A, apply the fundamentals. And I promise you, you will be successful. Y'all take care, man. Continue to support the trucking industry. Continue to support YBE TV. Support your boy, man, here at HT Logistics 3434. If you haven't already, check out my channel. Got all types of great tips on there. Great information for anybody looking to get on with becoming an owner operator. But there's, a, there's some things you got to do before that. And you guys have a lot. You guys have benefit. This is the benefits of this video with me and YBE. You guys have the benefit of seeing this before you get out here and get after it. See, I didn't have nobody teaching me. So that's all I got to say, man. I hope that was helpful. You already know what it is. If you don't want to end up in the box, think outside of it. Shout out HT Logistics. Follow my man, YBE. Drug dealing and killing is going on in my town Yeah, don't take a killer to kill Or a driller to drill See, just being yourself is the definition of real